going to prediction, we must see that we why we are born. Right. We are born due to our past karmas. Hmm. In Gita or in any literature of any religion, you see what we do, what we sow, we have to reap. Right. So for that, what karmas we have done, we have to face those reactions. It is action and reaction. And for that, what body is suitable for us? Right. That we, in that body we take the birth. That is why in our Hindu uh, literatures, if there are eighty-four thousand yonis. Right. Yonis means the species types of yonis, right. and it is not a very unscientific. Why it number eight eighty-four thousand have been chosen? Because there are the seven planets, right. and the twelve is the houses. Right. 12 into 7, 84, and there are 10 Indriyas, 5 Karmendriya, 5 Ganendriya. This means 10 Indris, and minimum especially required a 5 Indris, then, then we go 10 to the power 5. This is my logic, and that's why it has come to the 84,000 units. Oh. So, yeah, this uh, is there. Now, we have been taking birth since many, many millions of years. We don't know exactly. Nobody knows. Right. So we have done lot many karmas. Right. There could be he may have been a heap of the karmas. So much karmas. Right. Now one life is not sufficient to wipe out these karmas. Wow. So the total heap of karmas that is called sanchita karma. That is accumulated karma. Total up to now. And after this. Uh, in this life, we are allotted a little bit karma, a heap from the heap, we have taken a little bit and poured over all the 12 houses because we do the karma for our houses. Yes. Why? Yes. Because if we are uh, our first house, we use brain and body, second house, we speak, third house, we use the hands, fourth house, you uh, have homeland, etc. etc. Right. So there is a drop of these karmas on all houses. Right. This, whatever karma we have to clear out in this life, it is called prarabdha. It is the prarabdha karma. Right. And now, these are the two karmas. Okay. So, prarabdha decides our life path. Right. The, just like our life GPS route right. is decided by the prarabdha. Right. And it is fixed. Nobody can change it. Okay. Yeah. When I have to move from this place, I will be there on that date. Right. This forces us to face the circumstances, our paristhitiya. Circumstances we face due to the our prarabdha, our past karma. Past karma is one vector due to which we get the uh, this. Uh, Past karma are, is a fixed and it gives the circumstances. Circumstances means what situation will be in the surrounding. Surround. Suppose and in that surrounding, we have some freedom to act. Yes. There is a one force that is called freedom to act or action in this life. Right. Action in this life that is called the kriyaman karma, the current karma. Okay. Current karma is kriyaman karma. Yeah. This means that life runs on the resultant of these two vectors. Yeah. This vector is fixed past karma. This vector we can change and the resultant will change. Yeah. So this means it is not deterministic. Events are not deterministic, but it can be changed to some extent. Yeah. It can be changed to some extent. This is the basic logic of the astrology. And that's why all these remedies, all these uh, puja part and these mantras and they act. If this is would have not been there, then it would be a recycling machine. Whatever karma we, we would have in machine, then there is no use of astrology. Right. So astrology means it shows that what errors you have done in the past right. or what good you have done in the past, that comes with you in this life. And that reminds you that in the past incarnation, you have done something bad. Now be alert to 
not to follow that route again. So these are the advices that is given. For example, one has to be bitten by the snake. Jesus. What will happen? The person will reach at that destination. A snake will be there, you will be there, <laughs> and he will try to bite you. Right. But if you are alert, you can avoid the damage. Right. You can avoid the damage. Right. Now, uh, this is the basic of this uh, karma theory. Right, sir.